Hello everyone. So here is a quick tutorial on how to upload your reference to Maya. So you actually have your Maya reference in the scene. Uh, one thing that I have had difficulty since Maya has been updated is it's, it's been increasingly difficult to upload videos to Maya for reference. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it's the way that they take in the encoding, but regardless, it's a challenge. So, um, let's just quickly show you how I would get it in. So, uh, and then let me show you actually, if I were to upload, this is the video that I uploaded. However, if I try uploading the same video, import movie from uh, an MOV file that I took, uh, which is this one right here. See, when I try to upload this one, um, it just comes out black. And then when I try moving it around, like it's just not showing up. So one alternative to that, um, one software that I love to use is SyncSketch. So let's just go ahead and quickly open SyncSketch. All I did on SyncSketch was upload the same video to SyncSketch. And you have a couple options when you want to download. You can download the original file, but as you can see, when I download the original file and try to import it, uh, let's go right here. So this is with the original file that I downloaded from SyncSketch. And look, same thing happens, actually even more different. Nothing happens, there's nothing there. The plane is there, but I can't see anything. So uh, an alternative to that is you go to SyncSketch, click on download, and you're going to download transcoded file. Now, this is going to upload as a different file. And for some reason, the transcoded file reads a lot better in Maya. So what I'm going to quickly do is um, go to image plane, import image, and then I'm going to go to my downloads. And as you can see here, this is the transcoded file. And when I upload, boom, automatically my animation reference is uploaded to Maya. Now, uh, even better is as I move down the timeline, I can actually see my entire animation go frame by frame, which is perfect. Um, I'm able to pick up my key poses. This is my idle key pose. This is my contact. Uh, this is my follow through. And then finally we come back into our rest pose, which is back into the idle. And this is incredibly helpful for when we are creating animations uh, for, for attack animations or you know what, any kind of animation to be honest, especially acting pieces. So something to keep in mind, if for whatever reason you cannot upload a reference to SyncSketch, uh, or sorry, to Maya, all you have to do is go on to SyncSketch, upload your reference to SyncSketch, and then you're going to download as a transcoded file. And then finally, you are able to go to View, Image Plane, Import Movie, click on the new transcoded file, and boom. All you have to do is put your reference exactly where you want it, and there you go. And that's a quick tutorial on how to upload video reference to Maya 2022.